Oosh! Welcome back to the channel guys, thanks for clicking on, it's Tuesday morning, currently 4 o'clock in the morning uh, I rolled out of my bed at half three, feeling a wee bit tired, I'm not going to lie, but I'll be fine once I get moving uh, Just down to the woods, swap back trails and coils because I've got their scaly, they've got my flat after yesterday's disasters And uh, it looks like another day of logs, nothing too interesting, but we just wait and see Things are still steady, they're not flat out at the moment, but they're steady Ah, right, daylight's coming in, I'm starting to wake it up a wee bit, I feel a lot better now, I must admit, I've got my coffee, I will admit when I woke up this morning that I definitely wasn't in the mood for today, I actually wanted to go back to bed, I wasn't just tired, I was in a bad mood, I felt a wee bit down, I was crabby, I was just because I was tired, but um, I just was not informed for the day, just not informed for it. Uh, you get like that, you don't wake up perfect all the time, you do have real struggles, but lying there is not going to help, you need to get up, you need to, you need to keep pushing on, uh, you've got a better chance of fixing your mindset if you keep pushing on, but if you just lie there and die, you won't, so aye. I do get like that sometimes when things go a wee bit quieter, but I should take these moments and, you know, I basically means it gives us a chance to catch up on things, I'm more relaxed to make more content, uh, etc. But I think you do, I like being busy, I like being flat out, I like loads of things happening and rushing and that kind of upwards of stress. But when it goes less and the world slows a wee bit, I get a bit, no. And uh, I will admit it does affect me in a way. But, stay positive, keep pushing. Right. The other lorry in my trailer is not here. Uh, I've spoke to Alan and I'm just going to go in and load this trail and keep it for a wee bit longer. I'm not bothered because that means I don't have to set any pins or bearers up and I can just maybe get a five minute sleep. Don't know what happened to the other boy but I'll find out when I go in. Right, Jeff said that in front of me he's loading and then uh, what are we loading? Four meter. But the good thing is, unlike my trail, we have to set up the pins and put bearers out. Because this is a scaly, the crane just knocks them back and puts them all in position, so they'll just batter them out, so you don't really need to do anything apart from strap it up. Lazy man's trailer. Right, that's us got a load of four meter on for the belt. Just rip off. Come on. Well, that's not coming off. I'll tuck it in behind there. I had to wash my hands now. Uh, one of the four meters for the belt. Now, on a scaly trailer, it's really good. You just hook it right inside the chassis, like a big band around it. Uh, also, every time I come out the woods, after I've strapped up, come out the woods, the load will settle and the straps will come loose get them another wee tightened. Check your tyres and everything because you can pick a puncture coming out. You're more likely to pick it up coming out of the woods than you are going in because you've got all that weight stressing on the, uh, the trailer everywhere or your axles. So anyway, about an hour and 45 up to mill, chuck this off. Check him. 44, bang on, not even joking. Well done, Alan. Bravo. Thank you. Winky bits. Well, guys, it's actually been a very good easy morning. I am trying to pick myself up, but oh, God. Just. Uh, even the filming today, I'm a wee bit like, I can't be arsed filming, but you've got to push on because if you don't, by the end of the day, you'll feel worse because you didn't do your best. You didn't give it your all. I just realised as well, this is the same shirt I had on yesterday. It smells fine though. So you use the master the skill of the flick and catch. 
I tell you one thing, roll with up straps is just, oh boy. And this is fine, because there's only four of this. Logs are fine. But I remember I used to do pallets, and how many was there on it? Front to back, all euros, double stacked, was 24 ratchets and straps, and they were stacked high. I got good at aiming a buddy throwing ratchets then. Uh, they took you hours to roll them up. Well, not hours, but an hour as well. And it's 10 times worse than the wind because when you throw it up, wind catches it and it's way off at an angle and then falls off. I use a skelly trailer. I get second thoughts about selling my flatbed, maybe fixing it up and then buying a skelly just for the woods. But I don't know because they need to have three trailers to maintain. Because a skelly's a great trailer, there's no bugging about, there's no floor to rip, uh, more accessibility for maintenance, I mean they are great things but, and there was a chance there was a, a Jim Wilmer, he had a couple for sale and they were cheap, I did think about buying one, um, but then I thought no, I would just rather a really nice flat trailer. I don't know, it is one of those things that if I, if any day I would start to fix up the flat, you know, freshen it up, repaint it. So by the time I take that account, it would probably cost me more to get two trailers, get another trailer and fix it up, whereas I could just buy a really good flat. Now because there's no floor to rip up either, the machines will be able to come in there with that nice big gap and just grab straight on and all they're going to do is just hit the chassis. Another pro to having a skelly, there is literally no sweeping off, everything just falls, look, right through the chassis. Interesting to know what weight's going to be since we got a perfect, I don't, I think that's only the second time I've had that this year and it was Alan as well that did it. I try to drink two of them a day. Is that okay? Twenty-seven eight forty, so just under twenty-eight ton. It's a very good weight. That's good. Four good loads. Four good weights. Now this job I'm on is quite good because it always times in perfect for me to be start from yard, down the job, up to mill, tip and back to yard and then I need to stop for a break. So I will have my break here, I'll have a cup of tea and get cracking again for the second load. I'm just going to go back down with that trailer because there's no cranes where my trailer is and not bother because it means I just got to keep that trailer. I'm going to have to chase up Menzies as well today, uh, not Menzies, Mackenzie's or whatever they're called. They supply my ad blue. They were meant to come last week, they never appeared, but it was just after a bank holiday, so I assumed they were busy. But it's Tuesday and I have only got one drop of ad blue left and I'm a hell buying it at the pump because it, I can't even check. I think it cost me 80 pence a litre, uh, roughly. It has inflated. It used to cost me, I think, back like 30 pence a litre um, for all of us. But even at the pump, it's like 180 a litre. I mean, the markup on that. Hey, George. <laughs> that is me fed and water. Some people always ask what's crack with my old girl here. I have got a price to go for paint, uh, hopefully out in Ireland, but. I took her out for a run one day, the lift pump failed in her, so I'm trying to source one of them. And once I get that sorted, then I can get her moving, get some stuff done to her. We're still work in progress on that. I do want to get that done this year. Do it wrong, I do like staying away in the lorry, uh, but it's also nice to be home. It's actually very nice if you get a mix of both. Um, you get to see your mum, your dad, your, your whole family, your partner, um, everything. I mean, you have to be a 
certain type to be a lorry driver. I mean, some boys can stay away for weeks at a time. The most I ever did was three weeks once. Um, there was a truck show in between. It was pretty hard going at one point. But I also find it depends on the work. If you're doing interesting work like Deep International and all that, I think you can maybe stay away a wee bit longer. But boys that do like a couple of weeks, three weeks away at a time internally in the UK, I couldn't do that. Right, that's us back down the road. Got another load on for the mill. Tip this tonight, we're going to get my trail back tomorrow. I think there's some Cali papers on uh, pulp for there. Uh, the, but since then, I've had some phone calls and it's when I wouldn't say hectic, but we've got some machines to move this weekend. I'll have to get a driver out, uh, some ones to collect to bring back to the yard. Um, but my point, it could be quiet, steady, and then you get a few phone calls and within the space of each other, and then business picks up. But I'm going to get this one tipped. Oh man, right. Well, that's more work came on. I've got two more machines tomorrow, so I'm just trying to rearrange things, do all the logs. I'm just trying to sort it all out now. Um, but at the same time, not all phone calls are great. Work is always great. It's exciting. But then you do get phone calls that you know can put a bit of pressure on you. Uh, and you've got to try and keep the head. Now, I've sat in this seat many times. And it's been hard. But you just need to keep pushing. Need to, like, it can be difficult. Sometimes I'd pull over. That's the jobs of a bail lorry driver or even worse, more of them. Because if you stop, you stop making money. You need to keep moving. Ah, oh, God, I just want a break. But we'll be fine. Pushed. Bloody hell. Eh, uh, give me a form arse here. Right, I'm not going to show you me tip of that second load. You've seen it already this week. Uh, I'm just going to check oil because this did get a service at the weekend. She obviously does get checked just after it and I have been checking it. I'm just giving her a check at the end of the day. Some high revving today. Obviously check it inside the cap. No foam with that, so she's all good in that form. It's a nice clean rag. Now, Scannies are very notorious for being difficult to read in the stick. So you have to check them a couple times. Very hard to tell when they've got fresh oil on them. Aye, no, she's, she's looking good there. Check one more time. I will check two more times. Check it or wreck it. Save again. She's on the maximum. You want her to be in between, but bear that more than less. So, I won't need to top her up. Right, we are back at the yard. I'll be having my time off here tonight, so another night in my own bed. Uh, I'm going to have to maybe try and get my old man out in the morning to do a shift for me, to go load this trailer. Uh, no, sorry, take this trailer back, load my own, take it to the mill tip and bring my lorry and unit uh, trailer here. And then I'll grab the loader trailer. I've got machines to move tomorrow. Um, but that's what I'm just going to go do now. Like I said, it's not an exciting day, but now things have changed. There's more work came out. We're going to have to get cracking on that, start planning. Uh, and like it says, guys, I did show you a wee bit glimpse of reality of everything on social media is not all perfect. There is things that you, we, call, we have to deal with. You have to deal with your own emotions, especially with the business and pressure. Uh, and it's nothing major. I'd like to add that it's not like anything like, ooh, wonder what's going on it's just in general you're going to get things that are going to give you a bit of a downer a bit of like oh god and you're going to have to start thinking about it but at the same time when you're sitting in that cab you've got to try and find a way to control it and work your way through it and still push on with the job at hand whether you're driving for somebody else or working for yourself um but what like i said good day good success we've got work coming on for the rest of the week <laughs> i'm quite happy <laughs> Yeah, thanks for watching this video as always. I know this video wasn't as exciting, but hopefully you did get something from it and you still enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, even drop a comment. I love seeing them. Uh, and we've got some exciting stuff coming at the end of the week here. But thanks again, guys. Your support means everything to me. Flat out, flat broke. Oost!